explain. Explain what, Sparky? I didn't mean to be like that. I... I... Like what? What are you talking about? Uh... Nothing, Dad. Nothing. You all right, son? Sure, Dad. Sure. I'm okay. I, uh, just want to practice some more. You, you want, want to, to practice? practice? Yes, I'm going to practice a lot. Until I can play as good as I did in... Well, as good as my teacher, anyway. I don't think I'll ever understand children. I know what you mean, Martha. Piano? Piano? <sighs> Sparky went back to practicing. I guess it wasn't a magic piano after all. Or was it? Tonight, Comic Relief is proud, happy, and delighted to present Behind the Nose. We're proud to present a solid hour of mega rib tickling comedy. We're delighted to unveil the most unusual documentary you'll ever see. Entitled The Comic Relief, snappily titled Totally and Utterly Spondicious Stab, and explaining why so many people in Africa are so damn poor. And we're happy we don't have to ask you for any cash at all. On the other hand, we're ashamed, depressed, and sad to have to reveal that there are limits to Annika Rice's talents. Fetch the rolls, Parker. Still, start watching at 9.20 on Balance. It's a fantastic show. In a couple of minutes here on 2, the Royal Opera House production of Harrison Birtwistle's award-winning Gawain, based on the medieval epic poem Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Pen and ink at the ready now as we produce a character from the nib of imagination, Stilo. Good Friday afternoon matinee on BBC One in about five minutes is a star-studded remake of Mark Twain's tale of The Prince and the Pauper. Oliver Reed, Raquel Welch, George C. Scott and Rex Harrison are amongst the players as the orphan and the royal youngster trade places. On Easter Day, Screen Two presents Memento Mori, Maggie Smith, Rene Asherson, Michael Horden, Stephanie Cole, Thora Hurd, Morris Denham, John Wood, Zoe Wanamaker, Peter Eyre, and Cyril Cusack 
an irresistible cast and unmissable production. Memento Mori, Sunday, 9.45, on 2. Arthurian adventures from the pages of an epic medieval poem. Harrison Birtwistle's imaginative and controversial operatic interpretation, Gawain, is given life now from the Royal Opera House, Covent Garden. Introduced by Jeremy Isaacs. In the summer of 1990, on a high after walking in the Pyrenees, my wife and I called on Harry Bertwistle in his retreat in the Carrères in the central south of France. 